in this energy clearing session, we are looking at the hermit and the tendency to withdraw from society, from other people, and what this means and how to let some of this negative hermit energy go. So stay tuned. Hi, it's Robin from Vibration Elevation, and today's card is Hermit, and it's from the Archetype deck by Carolyn Mace. And this, I'm going to read you the light attributes first, the positive attributes. And um, for a Hermit, the light attributes are seeks solitude to focus intently on inner life, serves personal creativity. And that's great, you know go inside and work on yourself and express your creativity. That's, that's wonderful. Now, what we're going to look at today are the shadow attributes. And this one, there's a lot of people I think that are starting to fear, like, because I know I did, like, I'm like spending so much time alone after all this Corona stuff. And it's like, is this normal? Cause I'm okay. You know, I don't mind spending time alone. I have a lot to do, right? That I enjoy being alone. I also like to be with people, but it's, it's not like I'm being tortured. And I feel like there are people that feel like they're being tortured having to stay alone. But this shadow attribute is, is something a little bit, a little bit different. So let me read it to you. It says withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgments of others and refusing to help those in need. So what we're going to work on today is clearing the, the tendency to withdraw out of fear or negative judgment from others. All right. So think of what that's like for you. And it may or may not have any, it may not feel like anything, but I would still say do the clearing anyway, because sometimes those are the most powerful. The, the energy blockages or energy signatures and stagnant energy from, I'm just going to go ahead and say past lives, can be in your energy field and just not be expressing or, you know, just not showing up. But it could sometimes feel like a little bit of fear or a little bit of negative, you know, fear of negative judgment or negative judgment in itself. So if you have the tendency to withdraw, or even if you don't, let's do this clearing. Okay, that one's all done. That was one of the ones I felt that one, um, which is, I, I love those when I don't expect it. But you know, as we were doing it, I kept thinking like, I do kind of feel guilty for not feeling 
um, like I'm, I'm suffering being, being alone, being, you know, having this, all this alone time because I, I am, I'm doing a lot of inner work. I'm creating a new program. I, you know, I still see clients over, over zoom. So I still see people and I'm, and I do, you know, go do things, but I was, I've been feeling a little guilty about this stepping back and spending so much time alone. Like there was something wrong with it. And, uh, I, I felt that clear. So I hope, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it, it found something and cleared something for you. And if you like to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and just thank you so much for watching or for listening. And I'll see you in the next one.